Hi there, my name is Alistair Dougal and I'm the Senior Associate at Parish Patients Immigration Lawyers. Today I want to discuss with you the role of the Administrative Appeals Tribunal and what they do in relation to the visa process. Now, if an individual has a visa refused or cancelled, or if the employer has adverse action taken against them, or an offshore applicant is being sponsored by someone who is onshore, then they have the right to make an appeal to the Administrative Appeals Tribunal to review the adverse decision of the Department of Immigration. Now, the Administrative Appeals Tribunal is an independent review body. They will look at the case afresh, and they will look at the case and make a decision based on the evidence before them up to the time that they actually uh, look at the case and make an assessment. So the tribunal will not just look at the information that was before the department on the day of the refusal, and they will not limit the scope of their review to the, um, the day the department made the decision. The tribunal will also not limit themselves to the department's decision-making process. They will not limit themselves to the reasoning of the department. It will be a completely new decision. The tribunal member has the power to overturn the decision of the department and substitute it with a new decision, which may be favorable or it may also be negative. So when you go to the tribunal, the tribunal member will take into account any evidence that you submit up until the day of the hearing. They will allow you to uh, correct any shortcomings in evidence that may have been the main reason for the refusal. Um, sometimes people don't realize how much evidence is needed for a visa application, and the tribunal will allow you to then submit that evidence to correct the shortcoming in the evidence which caused the department to initially refuse the application. Now, if the tribunal is uh, satisfied that based on the information they have before them, and in most cases, based upon the evidence that you also give at a tribunal hearing, uh, they will overturn the decision of the can of they will overturn the decision of the department, and they will send the the the, the, the case back to the department for finalisation, um, in whatever means that may um, may take. So, if it's a visa application, that will usually go back to the department uh, for some further assessment on other criteria or it may go back just for the person to complete their medicals and police checks. In the cases of an employer-sponsored nomination, it will go back to the department and it will just be approved automatically. In the cases of cancellation, the visa will be reinstated. So the, the tribunal has the authority to tell the department what to do, and it has the ability to change the decision of the department if they believe that the evidence in, um, before them would justify them doing so. Now it's very important to be prepared for tribunal hearings because the tribunal member needs as much information before them as possible to assist them in making a decision that's favorable for you. The tribunal only wishes to make the correct decision. The decision they believe is correct and the best decision uh, based upon the evidence before them. Now that may mean that based on the evidence you may not meet criteria for a visa and they may believe that unfortunately the best decision is to not approve that visa. However, in many situations, the, the tribunal may believe that based on new evidence before them, the testimony given by the, um, the visa applicant and any witnesses uh, and any submissions in relation to complicating matters, they may believe that it's actually the correct and best and preferable decision to provide a favorable outcome to the, um, the visa applicant. Now, it's important to prepare well for a tribunal hearing, to ensure that all the evidence before the, um, is before the tribunal, to ensure that you know what you're actually needing to argue at the tribunal, the criteria that you're seeking to meet, and obviously, knowing what to expect on the day of the hearing. These are all crucial elements which must be present f um, to ensure the best chance of your tribunal case being successful. Now here at Parish Patients, we have a very long history of um, assisting clients in the review process. We regularly appear at the Administrative Appeals Tribunal to uh, assist and represent our clients. And we have a very, um, a very reputable, repu a very strong reputation um, in regards to assisting clients with the review process. So we would strongly advise that if you are currently before the Administrative Appeals Tribunal, 
um, that you get in contact with us or if you've just had a visa refused, um, you should also get in contact with us. We can assist at any stage of the process, whether it be at the initial refusal, whether it be uh, while you're still waiting for a hearing or still waiting for your case to be put before a tribunal member, or even when you've been called for a hearing, um, we can come in at any stage and assist you. So if you would like to have assistance from our team with an administrative appeals tribunal matter, please get in contact with us um, as soon as possible and we will um, take you through the stages which um, we, and we'll assess your matter and hopefully we can assist you to uh, have a positive outcome. Thank you.